Today, we become legends. Describing every warrior in Smite in 30 seconds or less. Subscribe for more, like the video, check out memberships, all that jazz, and let's get into this one. Achilles. The warrior class in general are all-rounders, jack of all trades, but Achilles specifically is a very good all-round god. He has solid damage and execute, but also good tankiness and can play multiple roles. His best stats depend on your role and he can make use of most stat types, power, penetration and cooldown for jungle, health and protections for solo or support, or a mix of both for a bruiser build. Though he won't make good use of attack speed or crit, Achilles is a very flexible character in terms of builds. Amaterasu Amaterasu is a late game focused tanky warrior with strong teamfight potential and objective game. She comes with many small things to manage within her kit to maximise her full potential and will use primarily health protections and CDR to stay alive and do work in teamfights. Though some attack speed hybrid items such as Berserker Shield are also solid on her too. If you're the player that can tolerate a slightly weaker early game in favour of a monstrous late game, Amaterasu might be for you. Bologna Bologna is a basic attack focused warrior with strong early game wave clear and a focus on anti-basic attack synergies. She uses the typical protections and health but can also flex into some attack speed or basic attack focused items like Frostbound Hammer to keep enemies in range for her damage. If you want a lane bully with a focus on dealing with hunters very well in the backline, Bologna might be for you. Chak. Chak is an ability focused early game warrior with high damage and sustain. He will typically build into defense but also does well with bruiser builds and hybrid items that come with some power and penetration also. Chak is very much early game focused and will struggle a bit the later the game goes but if that's your style then definitely give Chak a go. Kukulan. Kukulan is an ability based warrior with a unique rage mechanic that replaces his mana bar. This is how he switches stances and gets access to another set of abilities for a limited time. Kuchu is a good all-rounder in that he does well in lane but also pretty good in late game teamfights as well. His best stats are of course defense and cooldown reduction but he can use some power and hybrid items as well. It takes a bit to learn how to properly use his rage mechanic but once you master it he can be incredibly fun and powerful. Erlang Shen Erlang is a warrior that skews more towards damage than defensive play. He has very strong damage within his kit and good lockdown to kill targets quickly. His primary stats are power, attack speed, on hit effects and penetration but if you do want to build him into a more tanky playstyle that can work too though not as well in my opinion. If you want a warrior that is more damage focused and is a great jungler take a look at Erlang for your god roster. Guan Yu Guan is a tanky warrior with a strong focus on teamfight and healing. His laning phase and early game aren't the worst either and his best stats are protections, health and definitely cooldown reduction. And he can somewhat work with some power and penetration too though attack speed and crit definitely are a no no for Guan. If you like a strong teamfight presence and being a team healer, Guan might be the warrior for you. Hercules Hercules is a tanky warrior with amazing self sustain and strong burst damage. He relies quite heavily on his pull and push gimmick to displace enemies far out of their safe zones. His heal is unique in that he heals based off of damage taken in the duration and his best stats are defense, health and CDR. He is okay with some bruiser items too but for the most part you want to be tanky on Hercules. He has enough base damage in his kit to still burst pretty hard even without power especially in the early to mid game. Horus Horus is a support focused warrior that mostly sees play in the support role and not in solo though he can work there too. He relies heavily on his ultimate as a means of global mobility for his team but his base kit is strong as well. Horus will typically build quite tanky with a lesser focus on some bruiser items to amp up his early to mid game damage output. If you enjoy supportive warriors Horus will be your guy. King Arthur King Arthur is a stand switcher with instant access to 8 different abilities. He does well as a bruiser with a bit of damage mixed in with his typical defense, cooldown reduction and health. Arthur has generally lower impact per ability than most gods but has more of them so there's always something to use when you're playing Arthur. He plays as a very strong frontliner and dive warrior in teamfights. If you enjoy constant pressure and ability spam you'll like King Arthur. Mulan Mulan is a strong bruiser warrior with a focus on her gimmick of leveling up her abilities to get additional effects. As you play your abilities gain XP and will rank up to gain new bonuses. She goes more bruiser focused than full on tank with many hybrid items and even some full damage items working well on her. She lacks a bit in good mobility options but has strong sustain and damage output throughout pretty much the entire game. Nike Nike is a quite defensive warrior with access to good safety and control tools. Her defining feature is the massive 50% health shield her ultimate provides. Her core stats are defense, health and a bit of cooldown reduction but she can also work with penetration and power if you're playing her in the jungle role and want a little bit more damage as opposed to the traditional tanky roles. Odin Odin is very much an all rounder warrior. He leans more tanky but can also go bruiser or even lean into full damage items sometimes. He typically plays solo support and jungle which shows his versatility as a warrior. 
His defining feature is trapping enemies in his ultimate cage. If you want an honest, all-rounder, jack-of-all-trades type warrior that can play almost any playstyle, Odin is the pinnacle of that. Osiris Osiris is a basic attack focused tanky warrior with a strong focus on mitigations and damage reduction. He typically goes very tanky and uses his obnoxious slows to keep enemies in his effective range and ship them down with basic attacks and low cooldown abilities. His core stats are defense, health and cooldown reduction, but he can make good use of attack speed hybrid items like Shogun's Kasari and on hit effects like Frostbound Hammer. Sun Wukong Wukong is defined by his safety. If you need a warrior that's very slippery and hard to kill while still being able to dish out solid damage from good range, Wukong might be your man. Or monkey, I guess. Wukong of course makes good use of defense and health, but he's one of the warriors that lean more towards damage, so he can absolutely make good use of power and penetration items as well. If you're new to the game or to warriors, Wukong is the one I recommend the most for you. Tyr Tyr is a stance switching warrior with access to 4 basic abilities plus his ultimate. He relies heavily on displacement with his deadly fearless power cleave combo. He has high sustain and a very good early learning phase but lacks a bit in late game team fights mostly due to his lack of strong AoE CC. Tyr mostly uses defense, health and cooldown and won't typically go for damage items though some bruiser items can be okay for him. For mana. And finally we have Vamana. He is a basic attack ability hybrid character with a strong focus on his ultimate, which gives him massive regen and stat boosts while making him huge and CC immune for the duration. His core stats are some defense and health, but also some attack speed and power to allow him to run people down using that strong ultimate. Vamana plays very differently to most of the warriors, so if you're looking for a unique playstyle among warriors, then it might be for you. And that's all Warriors in Smite explained in 30 seconds or less. Hopefully this was helpful for you if you're looking for a warrior to pick up or you just want to know how they all work for when you play against them. Let me know what class out of the remaining mages, guardians and hunters you want to see next and lightly tap that sub button so you don't miss the next episode. I'll catch you guys later. Have a great day and peace out you nerds.